this is Villa Braves and welcome to episode 3 of my FIFA 17 career mode with Aston Villa. So today's episode will feature match day number 1 where Villa travel to Hillsborough to take on Sheffield Wednesday and then in the midweek we've been drawn at home against Newcastle United in the first round of the English Football League Cup. So those are today's uh, fixtures or this episode's fixtures. So join me down on the pitch for our first game against Sheffield Wednesday very shortly. So welcome to Hillsborough as Aston Villa travel to Sheffield to take on Sheffield Wednesday in this match day number one of the English Football League Championship. So we see the Sheffield Wednesday starting lineup. Playing a 4 4 2 formation. New signing Stephen Fletcher making his debut up front. And as we see, Villa Braves starting lineup for his Aston Villa team. A couple of injuries already this season, so Jordan Ayew will play out on the right instead of the left. Tish Bowler and Jedinak have both picked up injuries. Jedinak should be back soon. Tish Bowler could be out for a few more weeks yet. And Wallace puts a crossover and there's a chance. In the post from Gary Hooper. Oh, there's a mistake there, Jonathan Codger, but he loses the ball straight away. But that's another mistake. And Jordan Ayew, what a terrible pass. Yeah, but nothing happening yet for Villa. Ball through and Codgers free, but can't control it. And Hunt now gets away from Grealish. Gives us a crossover and reaches the latch for clear. And a great clearance so Ball still bouncing around and there's another shot, but that's straight at Galini. And there's a good ball in, and that's a good save by Galini. Well, one back now, and there's a chance now for Villa to break. McCormack decides to go himself, has to check back though. Now, are you? Tries to get the crossover, looking for Codger, still not clear. Oh, it's going to break for McCormack, and McCormack has a go. Rebounded, and there's another shot, so that's straight down the goalkeeper's throat. Easy save. At least Villa have now registered the shot. And there's a good ball in, and that's a 
close there from Stephen Fletcher. Again for Fletcher and again Fletcher's shot is wide of the target. No forward movement at all. No forward movement for Villa. I have to look at making a change. Should have been given a foul there on Kodje, but nothing given. Can Villa make the first change? Ruby Gestead replacing Jonathan Kodje. get free and get a good crossover now there's a header it's Gisted's first involvement in the game can't quite direct the header on target well, it's not quite clear the ball's bouncing around and eventually Ricochets out of the penalty area and Villa should get it clear, but not much movement again. Now can Villa break down the left hand side? Grealish finds Jordan Amavi. Has to look inside. And there's a ball through. Oh, and Greedy Gustad didn't react very quickly. waiting for him. Another lap now. Jordan Ayew. Jordan Ayew bursting into the area. Jordan Ayew goes for the shot. Oh, and it's nearly deflected in for an own goal. But it's out for a corner. Best chance of the game for Villa. He's going wide and the defender almost guided it in. back now with Ashley Westwood there's a break on now and Jordan Ayew Jordan Ayew be forced wide and Jordan Ayew gives Villa the lead probably against the run of the play overall in the game but Villa won't mind and Jordan Ayew breaks the deadlock in the 86th minute kept his call and fires across the keeper into the far corner Villa have five minutes to hang on for what would be a, a wonderful opening day victory. And there's still five minutes plus stoppage time to be negotiated. I haven't really had a, a great deal of opportunity in front of the goal today, Villa. But they have the breakthrough. After we stand, what is surely going to be a bombardment now from Sheffield Wednesday, and then in fact is the equaliser straight away. And Villa can't keep the lead. It's the same old story as in real life. And they always say that you're at your most vulnerable once you've scored. And true to form, free header at the near post and Sheffield Wednesday back on level terms. Go 
don't think they didn't deserve to be behind to be truthful. So two goals in two minutes. And there goes the final whistle. It's all over. So Villa taking the lead in the 86th minute, but couldn't hold on to that lead. And just like in real life, at the start of the season, giving goals away in the last few minutes. But a point is no mean feat away at Sheffield Wednesday on the opening day. And I'll have to look to take that forward. So final score here at Hillsborough, Sheffield Wednesday 1, Aston Villa 1. So as you can see, the uh, match facts, Sheffield Wednesday by far the better side. Possession was pretty even, but uh, Sheffield Wednesday the more creative, having far superior number of shots, uh, shots on target. Um, pass accuracy 89 for Sheffield and 81 for Villa. So uh, final score though, 1-1. One, one, and. Uh, Villa will take that forward into their next game, which is the EFL Cup against Newcastle United. So, welcome to Villa Park in the city of Birmingham as Aston Villa host Newcastle United in the first round of the English Football League Cup. Championship rivals this year, having both been relegated from the Premier League. changes from the opening day as the players are given a bit of a rest. We're going to play in a 4-4-2 this time. And as you see the Newcastle starting lineup. Newcastle playing the 4-5-1. Newcastle favourites for the Championship League title and promotion this year. into the box and there's the first shot so that's a good save by Galini in your post well oh, there's a good ball through oh it's off the post Villa escape. A good move by Newcastle. The shot came back off the post and Elphick was able to get it clear. Ball controlled by Rudy Gusted. It's Newcastle's turn to have problems passing. No balls played in. There's a great chance. Oh, and it's the first shot of the game by Rudy Gustav and it's straight at the keeper. First shot for Villa, I should say. Too slow to develop and Newcastle get numbers back and get the ball back. But now Villa win it back. No. Oh, it's Gary Gardner goes for goal. Oh, and that brings out a good save from the keeper. Gardner hitting it from just outside the area and forcing the keeper into the save. Oh, Newcastle building down the left with Perez. 
Oh, there's a good ball in. Great tackle, but it's still not clear. And there's a chance off, and again it's off the post. And once again, Newcastle hit the woodwork. This time, Diarmi. Sweetly struck shot, but beat Galini at his near post, but hits the outside of the post. So Villa making a couple of changes, changing their formation slightly. Going to the 4-5-1. And a couple of players lacking in fitness at the moment. And Ashley Westwood comes on. Along with Ross McCormack. And Jonathan Codger and Gary Gardner make way. Closing the down and the shot goes over the bar. The possession pretty much even at the moment, but Newcastle are having more shots, but nobody has found the right one to break the deadlock yet. There's a good ball back and McCormack off. And McCormack goes down. No penalty though. Nearly found himself free in the penalty area. And McCormack and Grealish has some space down the left and McCormack is racing forward. Oh, and he gets past the defender. The shots and it's deflected and it's in. And Villa have taken the lead. Can you believe it? It's in the 86th minute yet again, just as they did at the Sheffield Wednesday at the weekend. And that's slightly fortunate there, but Ross McCormack. The defender seemed to slip and got his legs tangled, and McCormack's shot deflected off the defender. And put it past the keeper. High into the roof of the net and Villa take the lead. And this time now, can Villa hold on? So Villa making their last change as Jordan Ayew will come on for Jack Grealish. And Villa will move to a 4 1 4 1 formation to try and close out the game. Going to be a throw for Villa, and Villa have the ball right down the end where they want it. Alan Hutton trying to shield it and waste some time. Doing well. Great play by Alan Hutton, this is. And he does really well because that's the final whistle, and Villa have beaten Newcastle United and advance through to the second round of the English Football League Cup. Ross McCormack's deflected shot in the 86th minute, the difference between the sides. What was a, a very scrappy game in the end. Um, Newcastle certainly had more shots at goal, but it's Villa who go through, and the final score, Villa 1, Newcastle 0.